Olá, meu nome é Raquel Carneiro e este é o Encartais, programa sobre cinema e streaming da Veja. E neste vídeo eu entrevistei a ótima atriz Regina King e parte do elenco de seu novo filme que acaba de chegar na Netflix, Shirley para Presidente. Em 1968, Shirley Chisholm se tornou a primeira mulher negra a ser eleita deputada nos Estados Unidos. Quatro anos depois, ela entrou na complicada corrida eleitoral para tentar ser presidente do país. No filme Shirley para Presidente, da Netflix, Regina King interpreta a protagonista durante a campanha, um período no qual ela enfrentou diversas barreiras e que, apesar de árduo, também foi inspirador, pois abriu o caminho para outras mulheres que vieram depois dela. A Regina King também é produtora do filme ao lado da irmã, que também está no elenco, a Reina King. Ambas conversaram com Veja sobre o longa, assim como os atores Christina Jackson e Lucas Hedges. Confira. Quanto vocês sabiam sobre a Shirley antes do filme? I would say we didn't know enough, you know, and uh, um, un unfortunately, Shirley Chisholm is, was not a name that was a household uh, name um, in American homes. Um, and American we- American schools. <laughs> American schools, American homes, yeah. Uh, but we, in researching, Shirley, we learned so many, we learned more than what we just, you could look up on the Google, you know. We, we got 15 uh, years to do it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think that that's the case though, whenever you're playing a, a real life character or you're telling, you know, as the filmmaking team, telling um, the story of real characters, real people, is that's part of your job to, um, unearth those uh, things that no one knows because that's kind of why people show up to uh, for the story is to see what are they going to tell me about this time or this person that I don't already, don't already know. So I hope that answered the question. <laughs> I knew who Shirley was um, in the sense of being one of the first women and black women to run for president. Um, I did not know much about the campaign and how difficult it was, and I knew nothing of Barbara Lee. So this was a really nuanced education all the way around. I'm going to force all the politicians to be held accountable. You're going to do all that. A school teacher from Brooklyn. Harriet was just a slave. Rosa was just a domestic. What is it you do for a living again? The tenacity mm -hmm. and and the sincerity and why she was there and why she kept going. Because I, I truly believe I I don't I don't know that she believed that she was the best person, but she was willing to try. Mm -hmm. And she was willing to keep going um, amongst all of the adversity. And she truly believed in being a, a speaker for the people and not just coming in with her own agenda. And I think that that's what kept her going. Yeah, and I think um, her clarity of self, her uh, clarity of vision, her faith in herself, her, complete, her lack of self-questioning in, 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 in her confidence, Yeah, the, all, the, all of those things really stand out and I think are part of what really changed Robert's life. Boa parte do elenco é formada por atores negros. Como foi essa experiência para vocês? Oh, that's a very good question. Um, and it's very true. I, for, for a long time, I was one of the only black or the only black woman on set. And um, coming into this one, a, we're telling the story of this incredible black woman. Um, our lead is an incredible black woman. And then our director and, and, you know, a lot of the cast and, you know, the background and the extras because of the time period and the subject matter. Um, there were a lot of really cool references and a lot of really cool um, experiences that I was able to have. And it just makes your heart swell to be able to look around and see that we were coming together mm -hmm. um, for this experience. And so 
It's been one of the highlights of my career thus far. Mm. <laughs> o que a Shirley poderia ensinar aos políticos de 2024? Well, I mean, let's see. How can we? How, what, what can we do to? to how can we answer that doing. without um, <laughs> like going in uh, too hard? Um, I guess really the uh, idea of really being there for the people. Um, you know, while we know and understand that there's a lot of um, uh, politicking going on in politics, a lot of backroom deals and things like that being made, all right, if you give me this, I'll give you that. We do understand that that, that exists, but at the end of the day, we're talking about people. We're talking about people's lives. Right. We're talking about the lives of their children, the future of our children. And I think what they can learn to, from Shirley um, is that she never changed her position on that. You know, mm -hmm. in, 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 in everything that she did uh, while uh, she was in Congress, everything, uh, all of the uh, bills and that she, that she was a part of, that she had written, that she had uh, de designed with uh, party members of, from the from the Republican Party, bringing them National coming Child together. National Child Care with Bella Abzik. Yeah, you know. um, wow. but coming together uh, for the uh, common goal of improving the quality of life for all people that are here, um, and and not just saying that that's what you want to do, but showing that that's what you want to do, and that's that's your. Um, goal, no matter how um, it may look. Uh, she actually put herself in some positions that um, people that were uh, her constituents uh, felt like she was um, betraying them by standing side by side someone who was thought to be in opposition, but understanding that even those that are in opposition, we're all a part of this, um, this thing we call government, and um, we're supposed to be here for the people. E esse foi em cartaz. A gente se vê na semana que vem com mais dicas. Música